is Rebecca Hayes and I'm an occupational therapy student at Midwestern University and today I'm going to be showing you my occupation based kit for activity analysis. So the activity we're going to be doing today is acrylic boring. So first I'm going to show you everything that I have in my box. So we have cups, we have lots of acrylic paint, pouring medium, little stirring sticks. We have canvases and we have wood um, so either one can kind of be used as your art surface. For um, this demonstration I'm going to use wood. And paper towels because this is an activity that can get messy. Alright so I'm actually just going to use the lid of the box um, as um, what goes underneath it to catch any of the paint. All right, I'm going to use one of my cups to um, hold up my wood for that. And then the rest of these cups, I'm going to mix my colors. So you can use as many or as few colors as you want. Uh, for this um, video, I'm going to use some blues, white, a lighter blue and then we'll do purple. So I'm going to have one cup for each color paint that I'm going to use and then this one is what we're going to dump all the colors into at the end. All right so you're going to take your pouring medium and you're going to you just kind of eyeball it in each cup. So this is just to kind of thin the paint down so you don't have to use as much of it. Always we'll take white and blue. I have this really light blue. going to take your little stirring sticks and you can just mix them up until all of the paint and the pouring medium are mixed together. If you want the color to be darker, you can just add more of the paint. So you want it to kind of be like the consistency of like thick coffee creamer or like heavy cream. So then you just take your little stirring sticks and set them on your paper towel. Okay, so then you're gonna take the cup that you haven't used yet and you're going to pour all of your colors into the same cup. Doesn't really matter what order you dump them in. So I have the light blue, purple, Okay, so now that all the colors are in the cup, you are going to 
take your painting surface and you are going to make it like a lid. You'll flip it over. And then we're gonna lift up the cup and then it's going to make our painting. All right, so then now that it's poured on, you can just kind of tip it around. It does get messy, so it will get on your hands. You can move it around as much as you like, depending on what you want your art to look like. I like to leave some of the wood showing, but you can kind of do whatever you want. All right, and then you're just gonna let it dry, and then you have your finished piece. So. This is an activity that can be used for um, a variety of different diagnoses in therapy. Um, a couple that I thought of um, is for people that are recovering from a hand injury. So for example, if someone had carpal tunnel surgery, this is a great activity um, to improve the motor skills as well as um, improving the strength and range of motion for your wrist and your hand. Another diagnosis I thought of could be autism. If this is done in like a group, that will be a great way to um, promote social skills and ask like what colors did you use? Why did you choose those? Um, did you choose the wood um, piece or did you want a canvas? Things like that. Um, to grade this project, this activity up, um, some things that you could do, or you could add more colors. Instead of just using four, you could use five or six or even more. And then to grade it down, you could use less colors. Another thing to grade it up would be to use um, a bigger canvas or a bigger piece of wood that would require a lot more mixing and a lot more movement to kind of spread your paint around. And then to grade that down, um, you could also use an even smaller one to require less paint and less work. Um, another way to grade it up is you could have um, the clients gather all their own supplies rather than having everything laid out for them. That would make the task more difficult and add more steps. And then if you're wanting to adapt um, the activity, what you could do is have that person work with a partner and have them use that partner as a tool to split up the work. So maybe have one person mix two colors and the other person mix two colors. Um, another way to adapt it, if you're working with someone that has um, a sensory issue and they don't want to have the paint on their hands, um, you could provide them with gloves and that would definitely help with that. And then lastly, as you saw the storing sticks, this is really small so that requires a lot of fine motor skill to be able to grasp that so to adapt that you could build it up by wrapping something around it to make that easier to hold on to so that would be the ways that I would adapt this project um, so this is my occupation based kit for the acrylic pouring and thank you for watching my video